like this because it was, um, it's a lot of fun with what you have to do. You're going to start with a uh, yellow cake mix. I if you like lemon, you could certainly do lemon. Let me move my mixer over here. It makes a pudding on the bottom. Put that over there. So you make the cake mix according to what the cake mix, in mix instructions are. This one calls for three eggs, a stick of salted, uh, a stick of salt, softened butter, and uh, two thirds cup of water. I think a lot of them call for oil, which is, I thought about changing it, but I didn't want to mess it up. Too bad. Okay, so I've got um, the cake mix. Here's our three eggs that go with that. I'll get that just in the mixer. I think this is going to be a fast class to prep for, but um, the baking time is going to be what takes the time tonight. All right, there's our three eggs. It also calls for two thirds cup of water, which I have here, and a stick of softened butter, which I have here, soft. It's been sitting out kind of all day. But I don't know if it's feels pretty soft, but I don't think it's real warm in here. Okay. So we're just gonna do that like a regular cake mix, except the, I gotta get that butter. While that's going, we've got, um, I'm going to put it in a deep pan. Um, you did notice on the instructions that um, to put a, a cookie sheet or something underneath it so it doesn't uh, bubble over. Because what we're going to do is we're going to put the cake mix in the bottom and then we're going to mix up the pudding and some lemon and a little sugar and water and um, some milk and put that on the top. And as it bakes, we're going to have cake on the top and pudding on the bottom. So it's kind of like one of those, what, impossible pie things, except we're not using Bisquick. So there's our cake mix. In there. Okay, I'm gonna put that over here because I think I will need that for later on. Okay. So that's all ready. Now we're going to um, mix up our pudding, and it calls for uh, two packages of the lemon instant. Pudding. And I suppose you could change this up. You know, somebody always asks, well, can you use this? I don't like lemon. I think you could probably use whatever you had or whatever you'd like. Um, the pudding comes in different flavors. You know, you could kind of change up the different cake mixes and different puddings. I think that'd be good. I think you'd have to watch, you know, if you're not going to do lemon, then don't, don't bother putting a lemon peel in here. We're going to put a little sugar in there. I'm going to get some milk. This is two cups of milk. A little bit of water. I think it's a cup and a quarter of water. Some lemon peel. Not the best looking lemon, but... This gives the... This will give it just kind of a more fresh taste lemony taste. I always like to use the fresh lemon peel and a little lemon juice. And 
And you don't have to be too, too accurate on this. About a tablespoon of uh, juice will come out of one half a lemon. Oops, I think I saved the pit from going in there. All right, we're just gonna whisk this, this up. Pour that over our unbaked cake. Okay. Now, like I said before, it's, this is in a deep pan. If you were putting it in a regular 9x13 pan, I think I'd want to have something underneath it just so it doesn't plop over the side. All right, let's get this in. So you can see it. It comes with a nice pudding yeast thing right on the whoops. Right on the bottom. So that's kind of a fun little thing how that does that.